I told you I'd be back in a day or two with another video. This one's going to be a little bit nicer to y'all. Oh, excuse me. Boy, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad y'all stuck around after my last one since I was kind of short and coarse with y'all. Uh, Christmas is coming up. And what's amazing of, of, of the fact that Christmas is coming up is the fact that my daughter, 13 years old, yeah, she knows what she wants for Christmas. She's put in her, her things. Yeah, this is what I want, Dad. This, you know, da, 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 da. All right, fine. But she comes up to me. She's already thinking of Lent. All right, what she's going to give up for Lent. Now, Lent's a religious ritual to an end where you give up something and that's hard for you to give up. And you give it up for approximately 40 days. Like I said, I'm not a member of the church. I don't know all the details, but I'm pretty sure I got the 40-day window right. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be starting somewhere in February because it's the 40 days right before Easter, which in itself is weird. Easter, who thought up Easter? When when did this group get together back then and say, hmm, all right, when should we have Easter? Well, you know, over in Bethlehem, last year they had it on March 13th, and over in Jerusalem they had it in, you know, two weeks later because there's arguments over the dates. So, well, we've got to be able to figure out something, you know? So what are we going to do? And they got together in this big committee, and they worked and worked and worked, and... And they came up with, well, we'll have Easter on a Sunday. Okay, a Sunday. Yes, yes. They all got together Sunday. All right, Sunday's good. What Sunday? I don't know. Well, they worked and worked and worked some more. This took years. I, ha I have to believe it took years. And when it came down to it, they decided that Easter would be the first Sunday after the first full moon after the spring equinox. Good as Sunday as ever, but I mean, who came up with that? I guess that makes sure it's always in spring. Uh, but boy, that's kind of that's kind of nutty. Well, anyway, she's thinking about Lent already. She said last year she gave up biting her fingernails. All right, and she says that she she was successful for the 40 days, and now she doesn't bite her fingernails. So this year, she wants to give up meat. She doesn't want to go totally vegan. She's not against uh, eggs, dairy products, cheese. You know, she's not she's not going there, and she just wants to give up meat. Okay, it's not a political stand; it's a nutritional stand. She goes, Dad. <laughs> she goes, Dad. I, I want to do this for Lynn. I said, All right. She goes, Will you do it with me? <laughs> I said, Sure, I'll do it with you. Because I figure somewhere's in February, because I'm stating it right here, right now, come the second week of January, whatever that day is, I'll let you know. I'm going to start my own personal, get Walt less fat than he is right now, uh, campaign. And in the past, I've been successful in uh, dropping 36 pounds at a time, so I'm going to see if I can't get up to... At least that, and then the 40 days that I can help my daughter out because that's what she wants to do. All right, fine. There are many other ways of getting protein. She's not exactly anorexic, she certainly isn't heavy, but uh, she wants to do this. I said, All right, this is this is fine, we'll do it, we'll figure it out. Okay, that'll give us a chance to uh, bond a little bit, a chance to learn some new recipes, a chance to maybe do some cooking together uh, before she goes in totally mental on me. Because you know, she's 13. She's this close to going totally mental now. Y'all know that, right? So this is might be my last chance for a few years before she totally whacks out and becomes a full-fledged member of the teenager race. And sure, you know, we all know they come back, you know, they come back. It may take four or five years, you know, they might have to get out of high school a couple years and, and then their brains return to normal. But, uh, <laughs> they're, we know that this is, uh, with girls as probably more so than guys, just from what I've heard from other women that, uh, <laughs> they go, whew. so we'll see, you know. 
All I know for sure is that if I had two girls and one boy instead of the other way around, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> one girl is more than I could ever afford. Uh, I love her, but boy, she's a, she's a pickle. But uh, she's a smart pickle. So that's, uh, that's all I have to say there. So anyway, come to the new year. New nutritional things for, for Dr. O, all right? We're going to drop out the fast food come the second week of January. We're going to uh, be a little bit more steady. We're going to record what we do. And uh, every now and then I'll post a little thing. You know, I don't know, a little thing in the screen saying what I weigh. And uh, it's not going to be a daily subject of my vlogs because you don't want to look at the scale. You don't want to look at the scale on a daily basis. It'll drive you bonkers. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do it. Somewhere's... I predict I'm going to be somewhere around 265 to start. And then we're going to go down from there. So, I'm, uh... That's 265 pounds. Y'all do the conversions if you want to find out how many, uh kilograms that is I'm just letting you know a little bit about my girl and the fact that uh, when we go into the new year we're gonna become vegetarians of sorts you know we're not which means we're not gonna be eating meat so hey if anybody has any good recipes if you have any good sites if you have experience yourself I know a couple of you out there that watch are vegetarians Point us in the right direction so we can do a little research before we actually get going. Uh, particularly of interest is lunches, okay? Lunches for myself, lunches for my daughter when she's at school. You know, what do we do? How do we set that up? Certainly peanut butter and jelly is a good choice. It's always a good choice for kids. Peanut butter, plenty of protein in that. Uh, it's nice. And it's still a good viable option for for lunch, throwing uh, some carrots and stuff, and it's not bad. It's, it's you know, it's something I can get my, uh, to sink my teeth into myself. But if you have other ideas, and I'm sure there's a million other ideas, uh, drop them in a, uh, a link, in a comment, send me a message, send me an email, o at gmail.com. All right? Uh, I have no problem with that. This messaging system in YouTube drives me crazy. Uh, the comments, the messages I've been fortunate with, but the comments are, uh, they drive me crazy. I think the messages are working. I don't know. How do I know? If someone doesn't respond, you just think, well, they were busy. Uh, so, I don't know. Dr. O at gmail.com. D O C T O R O H H. Dr. O. And the only reason it's Dr. O H H is because Dr. O was taken. And then Dr. O.H. was taken by me because I screwed it up. So I deleted it because I had capitals in the wrong spots and stuff. And then after I deleted it, I could get it again. It must be in some sort of storage bin saying, no, someone took it, even though it was removed. All right. Hey, let's listen to this. What do we have here? Yeah. A little Pink Floyd. I love classic rock, man. It's great. Okay, y'all. Have a good deal. And give me some help on this vegetarian thing, okay? Like I said, it could be my last chance to really bond with my daughter before she goes ballistically insane. <laughs> and I don't know where she got that from. I don't. Does anyone out there know?